Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Life with Patty and happy Thursday and today there is an open collab on Thursdays and it is called hashtag new and the number two me new to me it is hosted by Kimmy and her channel name is Kimmy's Kitchen and More and all she says is you can come and just share anything that's new to you it does not have to be brand new somebody could have gifted it to you you could have thrifted the item you could have found it on the street <laughs> whatever um, <clears throat> and then you just come and share what is new to you so I have a few things that are new to me and I just thought I would um, share with all of you first off I got this for my grandkids when they come here it's just a cute little puppy from Ty remember Ty Beanie Babies and his name is Ruggles and so I just thought he was so cute. Look at his little paws. And he's got little beans there and little beans there. And I just, my grandkids like little things like this. And see this, <clears throat> we are not into collecting them for the collection. We just like to get them to get them. And so at my work with my discount, this is less than $3. So I just got this for the kids. I thought it was adorable. Who knows, it might just be for me and be in my craft room because he's so cute. So that was new. And then I bought some more. I, these are not new to me necessarily, but these are new that I just purchased. Some of these uh, two-dimensional butterfly stickers that I'm going to use on my Artisan Journal this week. So those are so pretty from Spellbinders. And then I also bought these butterfly stickers because um, I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to use. And I also got two packages of the sunflower stickers because I might be incorporating that in my artisan journal this week as well. I'm not sure. Um, I did finish my butterfly page for my artisan journal, but I was waiting on this paper in order to finish my Disney page. <clears throat> so I got this it's not a paper pad because it's not in the pad form i think you just get like 12 or 10 or 12 pieces of paper but they are double-sided so you've got the daisies and the bees on this side and this side so you get two of each i believe this one is sunflowers and bees i wasn't sure so it's double-sided, but it's the same pattern on both sides, so. Then this is a little um, bee nesting, best uh, neat bee hives. And um, I think this is for when they um, put the, what do you call those? The racks that the bee hive, the honeycomb is in? I don't know what it's called. But uh, like the boxes, we have boxes here, but it's the hive, yeah. So I think these are supposed to be cute hives. This one is just different wild fl uh, flowers and bees. And this is another page with sunflowers and bees. I don't know why they always incorporate, incorporate sunflowers and bees. Do you get a lot of pollen, honey, from Sunflowers? Yes. Okay, maybe that's why. So um, you always see lots of bees where there's sunflowers. So I guess there's a lot of pollen in there. This is a, a page I really like. It's just like different little honey pots and the honey stick. You'll see when I post my um, Disney page why I bought these. You probably already can guess why, who my character is going to be. And then this was just polka dots. And this one is just, uh, I don't know what you call this pattern. Checker pattern, or I don't know what you call it. I love this one, just looks like um, honeycomb, like a bee honeycomb. I might be using these because I really like that page. And then this is like the chevron pattern. Oh, that's right, I loved this one. It just looks like honey. And this is another one with flowers and bees. 
So that was new to me. And then um, I had one more thing. I bought one of these Gooseberry Patch Church Suppers. So it's not just suppers. They have all kinds of um, recipes in here. But what I really like about this, not only do they use different people's recipes. So let's see, like, um, geez, I don't know some of these sounds. So like this one is from somebody in Troutville, Virginia. She did old fashioned blueberry pancakes, but <clears throat> I love these cookbooks. Uh, this one's from Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana, or uh, Laura's Egg Benedict. But I got it mainly for the dinner dishes. I was wanting um, super easy things to make. And I was going through this and I found lots of them. I wanted to share with you. I found one really interesting. Well, this one says slow cooker cola ham. And it's a half a cup of brown sugar packed, a tablespoon or a teaspoon of dry mustard, a 12 ounce can of cola, and a three to four pound fully cooked ham. And you just combine the first three ingredients. Well, it says combine the brown sugar and the mustard, add enough cola to make a glaze consistency and set aside. Place ham in a slow cooker, pour glaze over top, coating well, cover and cook on low setting for eight to 10 hours. That one looked like a good recipe, but there's this other one. Oh, here it is right here. Casserole onion bread. Um, well, maybe that wasn't the one. Nope, that's not the one. Hold on. There was one in here I really want to try. Where did it go? I should have tagged it. Darn it. <clears throat> okay, this is it. It's called Heavenly Onion Casserole by Lynn Bishop from Antioch, Tennessee. She says, this was handed down to me from my mother who would always take it to our church dinners. The pastor would ask her to bring this special flavorful dish. He liked the name she gave it for it truly was heavenly. And so she called it Heavenly Onion Casserole. And it is three tablespoons of butter, three onions sliced, one eight ounce package of sliced mushrooms, one cup shredded Swiss cheese. I don't think I've ever seen shredded Swiss, tea, Swiss cheese. 10 and three quarters ounce cream of mushroom soup, one cup evaporated milk, two teaspoons soy sauce, six to eight slices of French bread, six to eight slices of deli Swiss cheese. So it says melt butter in a large skillet over medium heat, add onions and mushrooms, cook until tender, spread it in a lightly greased 11 by seven baking pan, sprinkle with shredded cheese, combine soup, milk and soy sauce, pour over cheese, top with bread slices and then loosely wait, it says top with bread slices and then cheese slices. Cover and refrigerate for four hours or overnight. Bake loosely covered at 375 for 30 minutes. Uncover and bake for an additional 15 to 20 minutes until heated through. Let's stand for five minutes before serving. I don't know why, but that just sounds super good to me. So I do want to try that. So when I make that, I will do a video on it and I will be doing a taste test because it'll be my first time making it and tasting it. And I will share that with you. So that is what is new to me this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Kimmy, for having this wonderful collab. I hope you guys all have a great day. Take care. And I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.